Hey, welcome. I'm Laura and thank you so much for joining me today for this noon hour meditation class. This is number two in the Learn to Meditate series. And if you're joining me live, amazing. Thanks for being here in the moment. And if you are catching the replay, thank you too uh, for joining me and for making the time for your practice. So it's really important when we begin our meditation practice to ensure that we are properly supporting our bodies from a seated position. So meditation is done in a seated position in order to align the energetic centers, those seven main centers that begin at the crown and end at the root of your body in order for energy to flow freely. And so in order to do that, we need to make sure often that we find comfort to a certain degree when we're seated. So if sitting on the floor is not an option for many people, it's not feel free to sit in a chair. That's OK, too. It's important to, especially in the beginning, develop um, more of a comfort level with the posture as far as sitting so that you can begin to just focus on the mind aspect. And then afterward, you can continue to, to sit in different positions in order to train your body uh, to physically stay in those positions for longer periods of time. So I would recommend if you're seated on the floor to be sitting up on something. I'm seated up on a blanket. I use a blanket underneath my sits bones and I also use props for my knees. So I have blocks, but I often use these kind of yoga towels to stick under my knees. So I do that on both sides in order to make sure that my body is properly supported. And when I do that, I want to make sure that my spine is in alignment and you can test the alignment of your spine by rolling your pelvis forward. So when you tip your pelvis forward, you'll find your belly comes out a little bit and your shoulders almost come back and your heart opens. And then when you pull your belly back and you tilt backward, you're going to find that you round inward. I want you to kind of find the happy medium where the pelvis is tilted gently forward. You're engaging a little bit through your navel area, so through your core, so that you are stacked nice and tall in the spine. The chin can be slightly forward um, or kind of in alignment, ears and shoulders, depending on what feels best for your body. So finding the position, so very important initially. Your hands can be resting gently in your lap. I like to bring them in toward my body just to remind my heart to stay open. Otherwise, I find that I kind of reach and I end up caving forward. So I bring my hands in toward my body and rest them on my thighs. The shoulders want to be rolled down the back, so you might consider just rolling a couple of times. And you want your tongue, throat, and jaw to be relaxed, so it can always be good to swallow. And then to let the lips gently part. And then to go ahead and just lift the tongue gently to the top of your mouth, kind of where the hard and soft palate meet. Kind of rolling the tongue back a little bit. And this helps foster that connection with the third eye area. And your gaze will be straight forward. If you're new to meditation practice and you find that closing your eyes gives your mind just this chance to race and it happens very quickly, it can be helpful to just begin with a very soft gaze, gazing down the bridge of your nose. So check those postural positions for your body. Make any necessary adjustments. It's nice also to curl the lips up gently, kind of in a bit of a smile at the corners, just to help the body. It actually stimulates a little bit more um, happiness and, and lighter energy within us. And so whether your eyes are closed or you're going ahead and keeping the eyes open and just gazing down the bridge of your nose, I'd like you really to narrow your gaze. So begin to bring your awareness inside. And we'll set the intention for this second meditation class in this series, just to explore, explore the practice of meditation and whatever comes up in the moment. And then just allowing the vibrations from the bowl to send that intention through your bodies. And we'll begin gently by bringing our awareness 
just to the base of the nostrils, kind of that triangular area from the top of the lip, including those two nostrils. And you're going to begin to notice the breath moving in there. So as it moves in, you may notice the breath and it touches the upper lip or the edges of the nostrils or up in a little bit higher into the nostrils. And we're going to allow our breath to be natural. So this can be very challenging in the beginning because oftentimes as soon as we bring our awareness to our breath, we want to control it. So I'd like you to just give yourself permission to become a witness. And that really is essentially what we're doing when we're meditating. We're becoming a witness to each moment, trying not to attach to any thoughts, any sensations or any emotions that might arise. It's really witnessing what comes up, noticing it really from a detached viewpoint and then allowing the next moment to bring whatever it will bring. So in these moments of silence, as you bring the breath in gently, observing it move in through the nostrils, I'd like you to also observe the breath moving out through the nostrils and over the upper lip. And so you might have an awareness of the breath. You may know that it's moving in and out and not actually feel sensation, and that's okay. And some people will have sensation. Sensation as the breath moves in. And even sensation as the breath moves out. And through this following the breath, we're really training our minds to become more focused on the smaller details. So we begin with this very small area of our bodies. And we begin to refine the mind to notice more subtleties. You may find that thought comes in quite frequently, and that's okay. What is most important is that when you begin to observe yourself being taken away by the thought, that you bring yourself back to the sensation of the breath, the movement of the breath in your body. And that really is why we call this a practice, the mind that we often referred to as the monkey mind, tends to jump all over. So we give ourselves the breath to focus on in order to find those moments of stillness in the mind. And I'll ask you to notice how the breath is flowing. Notice if there's a tendency to want to control it or change it. And see if you can come back to that witness. Just being present for whatever is coming up. Now, if you feel that you would like to kind of move the awareness around a little bit differently, if you feel that you have a good hold of the sensation 
kind of on the upper lip and in through the nostrils. You can then begin to follow the breath a little bit deeper into your body. And if you're relatively new and that may not be accessible for you right now, I would invite you to continue following the breath in that small area. Because as mentioned, we really need to refine the focus of the mind to the more subtle aspects, which is why we begin with this tiny area and then we begin to expand. So you may perhaps be following the breath now in through the nostrils and feel it moving and expanding inside of you. You may notice that physical presence inside, the expansion of the lungs, maybe kind of the rise of the collarbones and the lift of the belly. And again, we're not trying to control it or make it move any deeper within ourselves. We are trying to just be present to observe. And this really is the hardest thing to do, to be present and observe. So be gentle. Notice when distraction comes up. Notice if you're trying to make anything happen. And just know that the harder you try to make it happen, the less presence you're actually creating for yourself. The more that we can find sukha or ease, and gently let go, the more we'll be able to find those moments of stillness. You may notice sensation in your body, depending on your seated position. And I ask you now just to continue to focus with the breath. Continuing to follow the breath. Be aware of the breath. And you may even notice perhaps that some of those sensations in the body begin to pass. Notice the posture, if the posture has changed at all. So are you still long in the spine? You still have those sits bones grounded. Shoulders relax back. This can often shift. So if you do need to make any adjustments at any point in order to ensure that you're a little more comfortable, Feel free to find those and then just come back with the breath. And I do recognize that spending 20, 25 minutes following your breath is very, very challenging especially as you begin. And remember that it's the challenges, those things that make us uncomfortable that help us to grow. So if you are uncomfortable, you are exactly where you need to be. And each time Distraction moves in. You can even take a breath to reset. 
just a deeper inhale and a deeper exhale. Just giving yourself the space to begin again. You may begin to notice sensations in the body. And if that is beginning to happen for you, we're looking for those subtler sensations. We can begin connecting with those if you feel that that would be beneficial for you today to continue to move on if you feel that you have a good grasp of following the breath. And we begin to trace our awareness over the different parts of our bodies and notice what we feel as we're there. So any sensation is what we are looking to identify. That can be hot, cold, it can be temperature, it can be, you know, tingles or pressure or um, cool, you know, sense of heaviness or light, lightness in a specific body part. It can be discomfort. And really what we're looking to do is notice the sensation in the part of our body that our awareness travels to recommend beginning at the crown of your head as you do this. Just kind of travel the awareness over the body. Just slowly encompassing gently the entire scalp. Noticing what's present as you scan over each part. And then coming back to that witness aspect whereby you notice. For some of us, we won't be working into connecting with the sensation in more of the body today, and that's okay. If you are, I'll ask you maybe to just start kind of with the head and the neck. This is really taking that kind of refined awareness and beginning now to use it in different parts of our bodies to identify what's present. We're going to spend about two more minutes here. So whether you are connecting with the breath only, whether you are allowing the breath to be soft and travel effortlessly in and out and using that awareness to scan over your body or something in between, we're just going to spend these last few moments in silence to let you notice whatever your experience is here today.
So I'll ask you to slowly bring your awareness back to the breath, just as we did at the beginning of the practice, just moving in and out through your nostrils. You might notice any shifts or changes. The beauty of this midday practice is the opportunity to stop to stop the busyness of the morning and pause before whatever is to come in the afternoon so that you can bring your awareness inside. And as we begin to find more calm and still within ourselves, we can begin to mitigate how we react to external responses. But it's not until we've refined our mind and our awareness to a more subtle level that we'll be able to identify these things within ourselves. So I'll ask you to take a moment and as you're ready, you can either stay as you are and, or even lie down for a few moments if you like. If you are uh, here with me live, feeling free to stay on for a moment, and if you are joining me uh, from the replay, uh, thank you all. And I look forward to our next session together. I would ask that you, if you can, take at least five minutes each day to practice the techniques that we've been reviewing so that you can refine your awareness to a subtler level and keep building from there. And if you find five minutes isn't very much, then go ahead and challenge yourself to do 10, seven or 10. Each day you'll be able to grow your awareness to um, a little more of a subtle level. So thank you all for joining me. Namaste.